doing individual work can actually harm harm the relationship because what happens a lot is that one person might get into self-growth work and they get really really into it and then they feel that they've kind of evolved they've kind of grown past their spouse and that becomes dangerous because now it's like now you become begin to judge your spouse which is kind of uh, ironic because if someone's doing self-growth work and someone is kind of a uh, elevating themselves, you would think that they would have compassion and understanding for another instead of judgment. But unfortunately, it does the opposite because self, self-growth self work is often, it's selfish. It's focused on the self. It's all about me and what I can get out of my life and what I need. And what a relationship about is about is that, unfortunately, it's not always about what you want. It's about the dynamic. It's about giving to another person. It's about putting yourself aside for someone else. It's about being selfless. So, although it's wonderful that people work on themselves and try to grow and it's, it's a great thing, it can definitely help you in your relationship. But when it gets to the point where you begin to look down on the other person and you feel like you've outgrown your spouse and that your spouse is kind of getting in the way of you achieving what you need to do for your life, you have to ask yourself a question. Is there something missing in your self-growth work that you're not getting? Is the conflict in your relationship the very thing that you actually do need to work on to actually grow and to become a more complete person. At least in Imago Therapy, that's what we believe. We believe that the issues that your spouse is triggering you are the very things that you actually need to work through. So it might be a drag, it might be annoying, it might be a lot easier to go out on a meditation retreat or, or go out and do some, to an individual therapist and do your own work and like feel good about yourself and that's wonderful. But when it comes to the point where you feel like your spouse is kind of getting in your way, and that you don't want to deal with the issues that they bring up. The, the question is why? What are you not really dealing with? What are you kind of avoiding? And what could you actually achieve if you would do the work together with your spouse?